Hello, I'm Dustin Kistner from Red Lodge, Montana. Okay. We're going underground, roll around in the mud. Uh, we are in the Beartooth Absaroka Wilderness. So headed into a cave. So it's in the limestone palisades here on the Beartooth front. also from Red Lodge, Montana. This is my first time actually going into this cave, but on the outside of it, so I'm really excited to check it out. So it was probably formed before it got uplifted, and then once it got uplifted vertically, uh, it continued formation in some way, but most of the cave uh, probably collapsed and kind of got too tight for a human anyway to get into. There were some prospectors in the early 1800s that had been in this cave. We're gonna see some signatures from that, which is always really cool to see some history there. And pretty excited, pretty stoked. <laughs> uh, this is a cave register. So the Northern Rocky Mountain Grotto can keep track of how many people visit the cave and keep track. There's also comments so you can observe bats and other things that you may see in the cave just so we can kind of have some kind of scientific record. Uh, always have three sources of light. Look backwards where you came from because it's going to look different on the way out. Have plenty of water and food. Always maintain three points of contact when you're climbing or uh, stemming or crossing a big drop. A. A. Bellamy and H. R. Bunn, February 27th of 1926. Wow, February. There's probably a lot of snow here. <laughs> This one says 14 miles to hell that way. <laughs> one way street, it says. One way street. It's <laughs> really cool. Looks like vertebrae, like some kind of pieces of bones. Yeah. I love it. It's really muddy, but it's kind of the best part of caving. It's how dirty you get. <laughs> um, it's really fucking cool. The ceiling's gorgeous. There's definitely spots where you get into and you just feel uncomfortable. Like you could get stuck. Uh, you can get rescued maybe. But a lot of caves are, it would be quite, quite the, quite the trip to rescue you. So oh, yeah. don't get stuck. <laughs> Good stuff. I can't even see your face. You're just like half a body, some legs and a hand. I go caving because of the, my passion for exploration and just not knowing what's underground. Mountains, you can at least look at the climb ahead of time. But with caves, you don't know. It's just unexplored and undocumented. So it's that passion for exploration and finding the new, the new big thing, the new deepest cave, the new longest cave, and all kinds of beautiful wonders that exist under underground.